Welcome to Quick Video, where we put the power of personalized video in dealers' hands, helping to sell more cars, more service hours, and increase profits. So, why video? Video builds trust and rapport, transparency, confidence, and value, which is exactly what today's customers want. So how does it work? The BDC, or service advisors, enters a request for video into the system. The salesperson or technician simply clicks and makes the video. The video is then sent simultaneously to the service advisor or BDC rep via email and to the customer via email and text, which is fully branded to your dealership. The system will automatically alert you when a customer has viewed the video, allowing you to contact the customer at the most opportune time and secure the decision you need. So what results can you expect? Dealers who use Quick Video can see up to a 50% increase in both MPI sales and appointment setting on new and used car inquiries. By sending your customers videos from the service department, you are providing transparency and the video from the sales department allows the customer to view from the comfort of their home with potentially their next new car. And by exceeding their expectations, you will enjoy the benefits of higher CSI scores, where we put the power of personalized video in dealer's hands. Hello and welcome. My name is Jack Gardner, Chief Operating Officer of Quick Video USA. Today we're going to take a look at exactly what happens when a technician recommends repairs upon completion of the MPI or complementary safety check. But first we have to address, is there a problem? If so, what is it? And how can we help you overcome it? Well, the problem is dealerships nationwide convert approximately 34% of all the work recommended during an MPI. So why is this number so low? In simple terms, the customer doesn't understand the recommendations in the manner in which your service advisor is explaining it to them. You see, advisors explain the repairs as though the customer was familiar with the workings and mechanics of an automobile. They're not. They simply have no frame of reference. What we provide is a platform where you can take the customer's car, the lift, and the technician to their home or office. And by providing them with expert analysis of what needs to be done, why it needs to be done, and what the possible outcome would be if it wasn't completed, we empower the customer to say yes to those recommendations because those recommendations have been provided with visual proof. And it eliminates the need for your customers to seek out a second opinion at the aftermarket facility. The presentation is going to take about 10 minutes. Please enjoy. There will be some closing remarks from myself at the end. Thank you. Bye-bye for now. So during an MPI, a complimentary safety check, your technicians take their time and expertise to identify 100% of the repairs that are needed. But unfortunately, we capture only 34%. Why does today's customer decline to have these recommendations carried out? Well, quite simply, it's fear. It's fear of making the wrong decision. As this graph illustrates, today's service customers don't trust dealers. And anybody who believes that today's customer visits the aftermarket facilities for a better price is mistaken. They're going there for a second opinion. So how do we fix this? Through the power of video, we can show and tell the customer. Dealers using the quick video system convert up to 80% of all red work identified during an MPI and realize major improvements to CSI scores. The benefits of using quick video 
increased customer loyalty, increased referrals, the ability to stand out and be different, and the result is an informed customer is a happy paying customer. Currently, this is how we convey information to the customer. Hey, Mr. Jones, this is Bob from the service department calling about your car. So we have a problem with the CV joint. A CV joint is part of your drive system. It's like a knuckle packed with a special grease and seal tight with a rubber or plastic boot. That's all held in place with two clamps. So the CV joint doesn't need any maintenance and usually lasts a very long time as long as the protective boot isn't damaged. The most common problem with the CV joint is usually when the protective boot cracks or gets damaged. And again, once this happens, the grease comes out and moisture and dirt get in, causing the CV joint to wear faster, and that eventually fails due to lack of lubrication and corrosion. So now you, now you have all that dirt getting in there and destroying the knuckle and the joint together. Um, we can get that done today for you. It will cost $312. The other thing is your ball joint... This part of the vehicle is found in the front suspension. Your car has two ball joints on each of the front wheels. The lower joint on the passenger side is gone. The ball joint is lubricated inside and sealed with a rubber boot. The vehicle is now unsafe to drive, unfortunately, because the ball joint, when badly worn, can separate, causing the vehicle to lose control unexpectedly. One of the ways you know the ball joint is gone is a knocking noise coming from the front end particularly while driving over a bumper, making a sharp turn. Yeah, it's a common problem, especially in the harsh climates we live in. You know, all the salt on the roads, it just eats the rubber and seals and stuff, and then it just fails, you know, the rubber the rubber seal fails. Uh, we can get that done today. It'll cost around $285. Total parts and labor, you're looking at 597 to get it all done today. Do you have any questions, Mr. Jones? Hey, Mrs. Jones. It's Bob here from the service department at the dealership. You have lots of problems with your car. Yeah, I know. It's going to cost lots of money to fix them. Yeah, you're just going to have to trust me. Can I go ahead and make those repairs? One minute of video is equivalent to 1.8 million written words. Well, let's take a tour through the quick video dashboard. So, how does the system work? Well, quite simply, the service advisor enters the ORO number. He enters the customer's name, their email address, their cell phone number. Then we ask him to put in the original value of the RO. In other words, what was the car booked in for? And then to pick a technician. The video request has now been sent to the technician and appears on the dashboard under job sent to technician. All of the information is propagated onto the technician's iPod. He simply picks his name then matches up the RO number, shoots the video, and then presses send when completed. The video now appears under jobs with video on the service advisor's dashboard, and as you can see, it has not yet been watched. But the service advisor can view it, and when he views it, all the relevant information, customer name, phone number, etc., is there. Morning, this is Will at Colonial Volkswagen. I'm the technician that's been assigned to service a vehicle today. So today we'll be performing a 40,000 mile maintenance and giving the car a full multi-point inspection as well and looking into a smell on your AC. First of all, the smell on your AC, I did notice a little bit of a stale smell coming out of the vents. Uh, I'd recommend doing a air intake cleaning system on that and we have a little machine that runs a cleaner through there and helps to um, reduce the mold and mildew and that kind of stuff. Moving on to the multi-point inspection, and take a look here at your front brakes. There's a shot of your inside brake pad there. Front brakes have about six millimeters of life remaining on them, so you still got a little ways to go. The inner lip of the brake disc is starting to rust a little bit, but it's not too bad. I wouldn't be concerned about that yet. 
Uh, moving on to your front tires. Uh, front tires on both sides are in great shape. Plenty of tread left there. Nice even wear. Moving on to your rear tires. Here I would like to point out that your tires in the rear are wearing very unevenly. If you see these spots here where they're a little bit darker in color, those, parts, those spots really aren't really even touching the ground as the tire rotates. Um, and a couple of those low spots are all the way down, down to the wear indicator bar which can be seen here. These tires I'd recommend replacing and I'd also recommend performing an alignment to help uh, promote even tire wear as well. Moving on to the rear brakes. About four millimeters of brake pad life remaining there. Nothing needed today, but I would recommend uh, having them checked again at the next service. Brake discs are also starting to rust and get grooved a little bit, as you can see in here, some of these lines. On the undercarriage of the vehicle, everything's in good shape. Suspension looks good. Exhaust is not too bad. A little bit of leakage around this clamp. Might be a good idea to change that out as well. Moving up to the front of the vehicle, everything's in pretty good shape here. Drive axles and everything all look good, suspension looks good. I also did notice that your wiper blades are streaking a little bit as well and I recommend changing those. That about wraps it up. Thank you for servicing your vehicle at Colonial Volkswagen. The service rider will be in touch with you shortly. Have a nice day. So the customer has now viewed the video. Hi Bob, it's Mrs. Jones. I got the video you sent over. You can go ahead and do all of the work. By the way, the video was great. I really liked it. Fabulous job. Thank you. The customer is all excited having viewed the video. For the first time ever, they understand what it is they're being asked to pay for. We refer to this as sub. The customer has seen it, they understand it, they believe it, and are now ready to buy it. As you can see now, the video shows up on the Service Advisor's dashboard as being viewed. It will tell you how many times and what time it was viewed at. You can also see in the notification screens that it has been viewed, but also the customer has requested a callback from the Service Advisor. When the Service Advisor clicks on the customer's name to see who wants them to call him back, the screen propagates with all of the customer's information. We're now going to close this ORO. For this exercise, we're going to assume we didn't sell all of the work. And the remaining value of the work was high, it was over 500, and the severity was high. We're going to send a reminder in 21 days, and we're going to go with the customer did not get the tires and did not do the alignment. So we're going to put this into the notes. So in 20 days before this goes out, the service advisor can click on this and he hits an instant reminder of what needs to be done. Then closing the video. Now the video appears in the closed job section. And as you can see, it has the original RO amount and the final RO of 970. The video is also propagated into the automatic follow-up, and as you can see, there is approximate value of 500, and this will go out in 21 days. It's also high severity. If I wish to change the date, I simply click on the calendar and choose the new date in which I want to send it. When I save it, you now see that it's going out in 22 days' time. Should I wish to send it right now, I simply hit the Send Reminder Now button, and as you can see on the top of the screen in green, Reminder Sent. Should a service BDC rep be employed to follow up on this outstanding work, they can view which videos were sent out and when they were sent out. As you can see, this one went out 18 hours ago, and it's high severity. That representative can also click on the video to view it prior to calling the customer. With reports, it will tell me which advisors are making what video requests, what the original RO amount was, the final, and their total upsell. It will also tell us what the outstanding value of work is. And I can do this for any time. Now we're going to take a look at a manager's dashboard. 
This screen will show him the jobs with videos. It'll show him which videos have been sent to customers and which customers have viewed them, how many times they viewed them, and at what time. In this section, Job Sent to Technician, this shows the outstanding video requests still in the system waiting for technicians to make the video and send to the customers. In the Close Jobs section, this page shows the manager the RO number, customer name, the original RO amount, the final RO amount, the technician, and the advisor. It shows which videos have been viewed, and it shows when they have been closed. The manager has the ability to search for an RO using either the RO number, customer name, technician, or advisor. The callback request section will inform the manager of any customers that have requested callbacks. The automatic follow-up section allows the manager to view what videos are scheduled to be sent out to customers as reminders the severity of them and when they're going to go. He has the ability to cancel that reminder, reschedule that reminder, as you can see here, or in fact to send it immediately. He can also view the video to see what the recommendations were. In the Sent to Customer section, this will show which videos have been sent out as reminders recently, what their severity was, and when they were sent. Again, the manager can view the video, and he can also see the approximate value. By clicking into the video, he can look at the notes that the service advisor has put in and has the ability to call the customer given the number is right there in front of him. On the main page of the report section, the manager can view the amount of videos made, the upsell, the percentage upsell, and the total value of upcoming jobs. By scrolling down, we can see the technician who made the video, the service advisor who created the request, the original RO amount, the final RO amount, how much we upsold, and the value of outstanding work which will be sent out to the consumer in the follow-up message. The manager can view this report over any given period of time simply by selecting the date range. And again, it will give him all the pertinent information. He also has the ability to view the videos. In the Service Advisor section, the manager has the ability to view which service advisors are creating video requests. He can also see the original RO amount that these jobs were booked in for, the final RO, and their total upsell. It will also show outstanding work. It will also give the total number of jobs, the total RO amount, the total upsell, and of course the final RO. These reports can be selected again simply by picking the date range. The reports can also be downloaded and printed. When the manager clicks on the technician report, it will show the manager which technicians are making videos. It will show the original RO amount and the final RO amount along with upsell. This is a great indication of which technicians are making informative videos and carrying out comprehensive MPIs. It will give it individually and also as a group. Again, this report can be customized by picking a date range. We're now going to take a look at the settings page. This is the page where the manager or admin person can go in and edit any of the messages that are delivered either by email or by text message. What you're looking at now is the original message that is sent out. 
the manager also has the ability to go in and change reminder messages. These reminder messages again can be customized and can include discounts or return bonuses. We're now going to take a look at the team section. This is a list of employees and their roles. The manager or administrator can go in and add or delete team members. Simply by choosing their role, in this case, service advisor, we are now prompted to add additional information. Their username, their full name, their business email address, and their business phone number. We will then create a password for them and add that member. That team member is now populated into the team section on the dashboard and can be edited to choose a different role or can be deleted simply by clicking on the X which removes the member and they now no longer have access to the system. So now we've identified the problem and the solution. You find yourself with two choices. Change nothing and nothing will change. Or embrace technology and provide your customers with what they want. Video proof of the repair recommendations you're making. And by doing so, you will empower them to make a decision and say yes to those recommendations first time. Our contact information is on the last slide. We look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye for now.